and I think that um, the kids are extremely excited about getting a chance to uh, play against kids they've grown up with their entire life. And just the challenge, it's a, it's a good district. There's a lot of parity in our district. I think every Friday you gotta come to play. Every team will probably say the same thing, so we're extremely excited about the opportunity. Talk about some of the guys. I know one guy that pops off on the film for me is Bryce Lane mm -hmm. on the offense. He's a strong runner. Mm -hmm. He's gonna hit somebody in the mouth. I really right. like him. <laughs> what are your thoughts on him? Yeah, no doubt. He's back for his senior year. Um, the kid had a great off season, the off season we got to have. And uh, he's extremely strong. He's about a 200 pound running back. Um, very, very good football player, and, and we're looking to, you know, he's going to be our workhorse. So we're looking for him to, to help take us to the next level. Now we know it's not just one player that makes it all take on the offense. Mm -hmm. Who else on offense do we need to watch for this season? We have so many returners. I mean, Dylan Petrie at quarterback, I thought he got some valuable time last year, and he's, he's looked really good in fall camp. Our offensive line, uh, we have two sophomores we started last year with uh, Ethan Dyson and uh, Riley Banks. They're going to anchor us on the front line. Uh, and then we got receivers like J uh, J T, and uh, uh, y'all gonna edit this? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> um, you distracted me. Uh, <laughs> Jalen Davis, he's gonna give us uh, another returning starter that was a second team All District kid. Uh, so we have we have so much talent back on uh, offense as well as defense, and we're looking forward to them just taking the next step. So you mentioned defense. Defense wins championships because right. the less the opponent scores, the better chance you right. have to win the games. Right. Defensively, you've got a really good middle linebacker coming back. He's mm -hmm. going to lead the unit. Talk about him and then other guys that are going to be around him. Uh, Bryce is our coach on the field. We run a, uh, a defense that puts a lot on him to get us lined up, to make the right calls. So uh, he keeps us uh, sound and lined up right. And he's who I communicate with on the field. Uh, we have a D-line, D lineman, all district players coming back, and Jaden Gilbert and Richie Rodney. Um, a returning corner, a second team all district player, and Ariel Hector. Um, so we have some really good pieces. It's just now about going out and playing and, and uh, proving our worth. So you all went three and seven last year. Mm -hmm. When you look back at last season, were there some games where you were like, man, we could have been four and six, five and five, Absolutely. six and four? For sure. We, uh, we were three and seven, and we lost three games by one score. So you, well, that's all we've harped on, on the, uh, in the offseason. You know, our motto in the offseason was sow your seed, reap the harvest. Um, so we're going to try to do the little things right, so hopefully those one-score games turn into our favor. We could have easily won six games, but we didn't, and so we're going to try to look to improve this year. All right. He's Shannon Carter. He is the leader of the Goose Creek Memorial Patriots. Coach, best of luck this season. Thank Can't you, wait sir. to see what the Patriots can do. Thank you. Appreciate you guys having us.